it was like a good palm above their hands. I'm feeling good from that last episode. I thought I was gonna be completely messed up with this information, like how I felt back in episode 11, but I think I'm gonna be okay following this whole spring tournament thing. They're really displaying the height of one of the members of this next team a lot. I can appreciate the perspective of Grandpa Yukai stating that height alone can be a deciding factor in how a match can go. So that really kind of shut me up. So I'm just gonna sit back and see if we see a little bit of what that means. I guess it'll be like really similar to how it was with Daytech. That's really what I can compare it to. Now, as always, thank you so much for the support. If you are new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. And if you've been following my journey with Haikyuu, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. I'm just ready to hop right into it, so let's get to it. Oh, careful! I got a question. Is there a reason why they tape up their fingers like that? Because I think I saw that with the, uh, the, the previous captain of the last team. Is it because they injured their fingers yes i know you guys will it might not be as easy as the first round but you guys will do this there's no doubt about that <laughs> not like it matters oh I'm so used to the ball hitting the tips of the fingers at least. Now this thing was like a good palm above their hands. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. How the hell are they gonna get through this one? Uh, oh, oh, a dink? Oh, no chance. Is a dink a faint? <laughs> I love him. <laughs> I love how positive the other guy is, though. Oh, damn. Oh, they're like in the past, like the shadow. That must be frustrating for them, honestly. To not even be acknowledged, only just the one tallest person on your team. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. Is he gonna try his move? Back attacks? I forgot the term they used again, but I think it's from the back. I wonder if he's having fun. Hey, just go with it? I mean, if they're cool with that, it's working. Aww. <laughs> I love how he just looks at them like they're cutesy. あの2メートルの攻撃にきっちり対処しやがった。次はどう攻撃を決めるかだな。The <laughs> difference. <laughs> By the time you try to follow, it was already behind him. <laughs><笑>やち。おそらくこの予選ダントツの最高身長であろう201センチ。now, if he would have had more experience in volleyball, then I think that definitely would have been a different game. <laughs> we got more tricks up our sleeves now. Oh! Suzuki! Those practices are coming in handy! A Bogota? And what, what's the other guy's name? Uh, uh, Kuro? Oh, he got the tip of the spike. Oh, 
Oh, right. I forgot about the whole temple thing. Minus tempo. Minus tempo? So, because this move is made up, my, does minus tempo not exist? Do the other temples exist in real life, too? <laughs> あの<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> I like how they're keeping the determination compared to that first team. I wonder how he would go up against with Asahi, because Asahi's really tough with his spikes. Oh, Tanaka! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Especially if they're watching from up there. <laughs> A plate? Oh. Man, he not That wasn't a fake. Oh crap! Wait, was it in or out? Okay, guys, what? So now, next is the qualifying, or the qualifiers? So, was that considered a faint? I guess because it bounced off the fingers so roughly, I felt like. It didn't seem to have been like a faint to me. But if it was, that was great because it compares to like how the match first started with him trying to do the feint and it completely, like, Kageyama said got rejected, but then with him ending it on that same note, that, if that's what I'm understanding from that, then that was a beautiful touch. Did they automatically go into the qualifiers, the, those last two teams, or did, did they also have to go through their own version of the preliminaries? Because I feel like that would have been that would be pretty silly if they were like the last two teams to be in the prelim, prelim, preliminaries of the inner high, but then also have to do the preliminaries here. Not the lunchbox. Oh, it's that guy! <laughs> no, Hinata, you got this! <laughs> oh, crap, he stopped him. Oh, that is not swinging him to the side. Uh, oh, he was the one that couldn't remember. Give me the guy's name. Who is he? Okay, so it does happen. Okay, 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 cool. <laughs> oh, totally forgot. <laughs> あ、忘れ物。ああ、<笑><笑><笑> <laughs> I 
Okay, so honestly, what really helped our guys this time around is that the tallest guy on this team was not very experienced. I appreciated the fact that they kept going at it and were really strong-willed to the very end. Because when two teams just want it bad enough, that for me, that makes it an entertaining match. That last bit though, they kind of like take me off guard. So hopefully I understood that correctly that that, what, that last move that he nodded did was a feint. It just didn't seem like a feint to me. For me, for some reason when I imagine the feints, maybe I'm just like imagining them a little bit closer to like a, um, like is it like, it, a feint's a soft touch, right? So I don't know, just like the way it bounced off their fingertips, it seemed a bit harsh. So maybe that's why I didn't like associate it with that. But next are the qualifiers, right? And I think they're in August right now. So they gotta wait a couple months for the qualifiers. Those two matches aren't enough, I want more. But I guess that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below, you know I love hearing from you guys. Subscribe for more content and I'll see y'all for the next one.